Justin Transportation. You reach Justin. I'm gonna help you. Yeah, Justin. Uh, I was in the uh, in the chat in the messenger chat with someone. Is it too late to uh, Is it too late to talk to somebody? Uh, a recruiter? I think I was talking to a Absolutely. recruiter. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely not, my friend. How you doing today? I am doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. Uh, you know, you guys answered a few of my questions that I had in the uh, in the Instagram chat, and I asked if would it be better to call because it was a you know it was a it wasn't a lot, but you know I guess it was uh, a lot of questions that probably could go into a little bit of detail. Absolutely. Yeah. Always. All right. Questions are good in my books. All right. Awesome, man. Awesome. So this is what? C1 Transporting. You guys is out of Illinois? Yes, sir. That's correct. Are you familiar with the Joliet area? Sure is. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, that's currently where we have our terminal shop, the whole nine yards expanding over there. So we're in the, we're kind of, yeah, a little bit, about 40 45 miles south of Chicago, so All right. yeah, we're in the suburbs over here in Illinois. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? You know the thing about Illinois is that you know it's it's a little uh, it's a little crutch that goes on in the uh, you know I'm in a Facebook group and we all talk about uh, Illinois company. So I I guess my oh yeah first oh, yeah. question would be like. Is this a foreign country, uh, company or American, American slash foreign company? So I think the second one would be a better interpretation. I mean, me, myself, I'm born and raised here. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> we have a bunch of, you know, we've got a lot of different faces from a lot of different places. I'll right. say that much. I mean, you know, we've got a lot of, uh, you know, born and raised American people working with us within the office, I should say, at least. And then, you know, likewise, we do have some some individuals who are not actually born here. So uh, predominantly Romanian. So, yeah, it is an Eastern European company now. I'm very familiar with the stigma. It's always a hoop to jump through. But at the end of the day, uh, our, our name and any literature you could find in regards to us anywhere, it, you know, it speaks – it speaks louder than my words. I would say that much, you know, because you could. Ch- I've been here three and a half out of six years. We've been open. They gave me a chance, and I mean, you could check us out on Facebook and right. anywhere that there are any reviews. Just because you know, I'm able to speak so confidently from experience. You know, I, I see the type of guys that at the end of the day, you know, the individuals who they want to come here and climb up the ladder, they always do. All right, all right, all right. So I guess let's start then. What? What? Uh, whoops! There we go. I thought I lost my. There we go. Uh, what uh, what more can you tell me about the company, and what what do you guys have to offer? Sure. So yeah, we run all forty eight states. We don't really go to New York, New Jersey, or Florida almost at all. I mean, unless you do live, you know, unless you're out of that area. In that case, it's it wouldn't be an issue necessarily, you know, to get your home, of course. Mm-hmm. Now, <clears throat> you know, basically, like I said, we run all forty eight. So no, no, um, you know, no Canada, no Mexico. Uh, everything's legal. Trucks are twenty. 19 or newer 2022s is all we have right now can wear t680s automatic and they're all going to be governed at 70 miles per hour on and off the pedal so as far as pay goes we pay weekly it's all depending on you know exactly which trailer type you pull we have a variety of divisions honestly as of right now only thing that we do have currently available would be uh well there's two divisions it'd be either the team drop and hook position as a dedicated carrier for ups or on the other end of that spectrum there's also going to be the flatbed division which we have we we have a few step decks as well as a few 48 and 53 foots okay okay how much experience uh you guys require well insurance generally says about two years of experience now you know at the end of the day if everything we, we can make exceptions if you know background you know background looks good on our end for example uh now Tell me by yourself in that case, you know, how much how much time have you spent over the road, money? Uh, oh, man? Six, <clears throat> six years. You said six, correct? Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. So uh your name is your name is LaShawn, right? Yeah. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so my name is Justin, of course. You didn't catch that in the ad, but so yeah, pretty much the main things that I like to talk about is, you know, the fact that we are working with a 1099, very common, of course, out here. Um, and with the 1099, we do have two other policies that 
I always, you know, we need to talk about it as number one things just so there's no surprise. At the end, at, all right, so yeah, first and foremost, are you, I'm sure you might be familiar, you might have heard once or twice or know about escrow. Yeah. Yeah, so we have an escrow. It's uh, similar, if not identical, with a clause. I mean, I know there's a lot of places that screw around with it and, you know, do kind of... Their escrow is not exactly what escrow, you know, should be, but at the end of the day, you know, like I said, it's pretty similar, you know, at the face level, given so, the fact that, you know, company drivers, it's going to be 150 for 10 weeks. I mean, 1,500 total escrow, and at so, the end of the day, it's your money. So, so in mm-hmm. the- so ahead, in, other, in other words, being that this is uh being that this is a ten ninety nine company, we're not we're we're not um having no taxes take out on us. We don't have no benefits correct, with you correct. guys and all like that. And this so, es- and this escrow that you're talking about, which is hundred and fifty dollars, what, a week? For ten weeks, correct. And then it'll and stop. So it's it in theory it's a te- temporary hold. So that escrow pretty much is is for whatever happens to the truck for whatever reason i turn the truck back in yeah of course i mean you know at the end of the day this entire industry it's all about communication so you know whatever happens if you ever have you know for whatever reason you have to you know get off the road i mean you know maybe it's, you, you want to go local it's, you've got a relative you know who who's ill and you have to you know take care of them of course whatever the case is you know as long as you communicate with us you know, return the truck within reason. I mean, returning the truck is half the battle at the end of the day. We've seen some pretty crazy interiors after getting them back and, you know, guys switching the owner. But at the end of the day, you know, look, we're fair here. We don't want to take anybody's money as long as, you know, you're fair with us. You let us know, hey, I've got to take care of this, this and that. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to need to put in my whatever the case is. You know, as long as you return the truck, drive safe. I tell everybody this. It's all really right. nothing to worry about. All right. So out of all of that, what's the pay? So let's see here. You've got six years now. What kind of what kind of trailer are you generally pulling? Let's see. Would it be because yeah, the difference with uh yeah, the difference with Facebook uh, messages and then Instagram is I'm not able to see exactly which which post you viewed, which ad. Uh, I believe I be, I believe it was the Instagram ad, and I think it's the drive-in. Uh, the drive-in position, correct. So we pay very handsomely for, like I said, team drop and hook. Now, currently, that's those are the only two divisions that we do have, team drop and hook as well as, you know, like I said, the flat that position. So, so we can I pay need, very competitively. I'm not, so I would, need, I, I would need a team driver to come in with me to to rock out with you guys yeah correct i mean you know friend family member just somebody who you're ultimately you know going to be comfortable driving with who you know you're going to be able to you know be be asleep out there while they're uh holding the steering wheel of course so right so what will be the pay to the truck then for a team drive so it, it would all for for example i mean it depends on the lead driver's experience so you know, let's say you have somebody with more experience than you. It's kind of it. It's like kind of like an averaging out. I mean, let's say you come through the doors of somebody, you know, with one year of experience or two years, something of that nature, and everything looks good. I would imagine we can get you guys started off at seventy cents per mile. Not a problem. Is that seventy cents split or seventy cent together? Like. That's correct. So, I mean, technically, you either split the cents or you split the mile. So, you're getting 70 cents per mile that you drive or, yeah, and or 35 cents for the... Oh, okay. See, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, he's yeah. getting 35 cents and I'm getting 35 cents split from that 70. Well, yeah, that's probably... The, that. Yeah, if it's a friend of yours, that'll be the easiest way to do the math. It's basically, yeah, 35, you get 35 cents per mile for every mile that the truck is driving. Um, these next few weeks, everything is picking back up with the uh, dedicated lanes, like like actually dedicated contracted seven thousand miles a week, which um, you know, it's not. I don't want to say it's easy. It's not easy, but it's very you know, it's, it's it's pretty, it's straightforward. That's what I would say. Just because you know, every Sunday you get a whole itinerary. Where do you have to be? What time of the day? Um, so on and so forth. So it's you know, it's very simple stuff. And then at the end of the day. 
like I said, you know, it's 7,000 miles guaranteed. Every Sunday, you know where you have to be, so, you know, you guys can go ahead and plan everything out. You know, Monday mer- morning, first hour already in Hodgkins or wherever. So, wherever you're starting the lane that week. So they're usually they're starting out of, um, you know, Chicagoland area, Hodgkins. It's about 20 miles south, I mean, north of um, Joliet. It's right around where I stay. Um, so, yeah, they're either starting there or out in Cali, Los Angeles area. And so this, it's fair to say, I mean, if you're mm-hmm. – So this is uh, – so, so this – so – this would be team drive. Uh, you know, I I would probably have to find someone, you know, that, that'll come in with me. That's cool. Um, what about uh, you? You already talked about the truck speed. You already talked about your lanes and everything. Uh, would we be able to pick our loads from a low board or would it be or would it be dispatched to us? Correct. Yeah. So basically, dispatch to you, but not necessary. I mean, it's like this. So you know, every every Sunday, we get you know all of our every single team gets their itinerary essentially. So we can make requests for certain lanes, but at the end of the day, it's ultimately you know up to whatever capacity that they have. Okay. 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 Uh, trucks governed at seventy on the foot, seventy on the cruise. Uh, is there Correct. any is there any extra pay for running the Northeast? I know you say we don't you you guys don't go into New York, but do you guys still go into Northeast? So let me go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and pull up a few weeks of these lanes and see exactly what they're looking like. That way, I'll be able to tell you as accurately as possible. Now, I right, for example, this is um. These guys are out of Indianapolis, so they started, they took their first load in Indianapolis, delivered to Hodgkins, Illinois, uh, picked up in Hodgkins. From Hodgkins, they went to Salt Lake City, Utah. From there, they actually came, you know, they got loaded, they dropped the trailer, picked up a trailer in Salt Lake City. Then they unloaded and loaded back again in Bedford Park, Illinois. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, after that, unload at unload and load again in uh, Illinois and then from there actually yeah there we go that's this is exactly why I like to have these from there they ran they got unloaded and loaded in Secaucus New Jersey and then they ran back out to Illinois so since then, they, yeah so pretty much it so since they so since they was out in uh Jersey again uh do, do they get paid extra for going up that way for the Northeast no, so not all of them are like that. I mean, I'm looking at this other one. It's Hodgkins to Texas, to North Carolina, Texas, and then to Cali and back. Oh, okay. So okay. There's, this one's a lot shorter. So not not all of them are going to New Jersey. It's just I think these guys, I'm not sure exactly. You know, like I said, everybody likes to put in their requests, and if it's available, they'll go ahead and, um, you know, they'll go ahead and obviously, you know, if they have the capacity, they'll go ahead and uh, – <clears throat> Grant, so, grant us permission to carry that that lane. So it's to pay every week or every two weeks. So yeah, it is. It is every Friday now. Uh, get you know we technically hold a week back. So even me, for example, this this week, this Friday, I'm getting paid for what I did last week. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Is there a sign-on bonus coming on with you guys? There is a sign-on bonus. So it's nothing too crazy, but we have other bonuses that I like personally a little more. For example, I mean, the sign-on is 125 um, <clears throat> obviously per person a month. For one year after a year, you get a one-week paid vacation. Pays you $500. I always tell people, you know, when we cross that bridge, if you're still a company driver, give me a call. I'll make sure we take care of you a little more now. The, the bonuses that I personally like, so all of our equipment is, you know, obviously brand new. Um... So pretty much, you know, you're doing your pre-trip, post-trip, essentially you're begging, you know, if you will, to get pulled over. So why do I say that? A clean level one inspection, that's a $500 bonus. A clean level two inspection is a $300 bonus. And then level three, that's 150 So likewise, every three months, you're going to get one cent per mile. So every three months, you should be getting three to $400, really around 450 It's kind of unreasonable, but you're getting one cent per mile driven every three months, quarterly, I should say. So <clears throat> we do that. We have annual loyalty bonuses as well. So, you know, those are, those are always, you know, different. It just depends. Last year they were pretty, pretty handsome. You know, I can imagine this year due to growth, they're going to be even nicer. So, 
yeah, at the end of the day, we do this. We have the photo contest every month. You know, you win a photo, you take one nice picture, you win the photo contest, $200. Nothing crazy, but, you know, something extra. And then um, number one, I mean, we have a referral bonus. The referral bonus, it's identical to what I get. It's not necessarily, you know, about the money. It's just, you know, come over here, you like what you see, and you bring some people who maybe they're, you know, some individuals who maybe they're not as happy where they currently are at. So, okay. yeah, okay. with that being said, referral bonus is 150 right away, uh, or after their first load, I should say, and then 150 after six months. Okay. All right. Well, bro, well, thank you very much for your time, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, that's Absolutely. About, you know, that's about it. You know, I'm just, you know, just, uh, you know, scrolling around, you know, it, you popped up in my, you know, you popped up in my feed and I thought I'd just give you guys a call to see what you guys is about. You know, I'll take this, uh, you know, I'll take this information with me back to my uh, Facebook group and to my social media and let them know that I will talk to you as well. So hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully uh, they, uh, they they give you some play if they looking for some, you know, something like this. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, been a pleasure to speak to you as well. So, you know, any questions at any time, you can always feel free to, you know, give me a call. If you like, I'll shoot you a text on my personal cell. That way you could call or text me at any time, even over the weekends when I'm out of the office, if you like, of course. All right, all right. No problem, bro. No problem, bro. Go ahead and, uh, you know, the phone number that popped up, you go ahead and test it over to me. And uh, I'll go, like I said, I'll go ahead and uh, put this together and, 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 you know, tell my social media people that I talk to you. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, hey, I really appreciate your time and, you know, I look forward to touch base in the near future. And again, like I said, I'll shoot you a text right now. You got any questions, concerns, anything for me, just let me know. It'd be my pleasure to help you out. No doubt, man, no doubt. Well, thank you very much, man. You take it easy. Yes, sir. God bless. God bless. You take care, my friend. All right now. All right.